Grace Missionary Church. My name is Maikano Odumetze. Uh, I'm right here with my wife, Lintle Odumetze. We are coming from Botswana. Uh, we came here uh, because we had uh, different challenges. You know, to me, I would, I would talk to uh, my career. It was not growing. It was just uh, stagnant. Uh, he had plans to, to do business, but I was not growing. Uh, I also wanted to have a uh, one-on-one -on -one encounter with the man of God so that uh, I can also appreciate uh, what is happening here in Charis. Let's go back to your career because it's something that you addressed, your career. What is really happening in your career? What are the things that you couldn't do because of you not growing in the area that you are? Um, I've been in... Uh, in one company that I'm working for uh, in Botswana. Uh, I've been with them for about five years now. I'm in the same position that I joined them uh, in and I, I felt like there is no more uh, challenging uh, activities in the business. Uh, I felt like I want to at least uh, seek intervention of God so that even if I'm still with them but uh, maybe a promotion will come maybe new challenges will come, maybe even uh, going to join other organizations that will give me a better exposure uh, of my career or related in the, in the field. I believe you working hard, knowing what you're doing and still there's no promotion, there is no new challenge as you speak, how did it affect you? It affected me obviously because um, promotions come with finances. Yeah. Um, with time, finances get to be locked up if you are not getting promoted. Um, you, you, you don't get to grow, uh, obviously, when there are no uh, finances. Uh, you also want to uh, approach life in different ways when you have uh, maybe family. Uh, you have to grow children. You have to uh, finance uh, everything that is happening in the family. So I was challenged in that space because uh, I, I found myself in one a position for a little while and it, it had to, to lock me up in terms of financial growth. And uh, by the grace of God you're able to meet the man of God and the prophet on one on one session and you met the prophet, he prophesied you. Confirm the prophecy that he said to you whether to be true or not. The prophecies were all true, uh, very 100% uh, to the point. Um, the, he he picked um, on my ability to uh, think or have ideas uh, on business, uh, something that I, I think I do every day, I think about uh, business ideas, but putting them to the ground and make sure that uh, something is happening and money is coming through, it never happened. And uh, it's one of those things that I, I think Man of God was, uh, he touched it, he saw it in my heart that I wanted him to touch on it. He also touched on um, a few things about um, uh, a farm that was pre-owned by my father. And uh, after my father passed away, the family agreed to give it to me or pass it over to me. Yes, yes and uh, it's one of those things that maybe it's, the, it's going to form part of the ideas that I have uh, to bring more finances into my family. And, and they prayed for you at that particular moment when they were praying for you, how did you feel? I felt good. I was uh, rejoicing because really uh, God is moving in this place. Uh, uh, the touch that he gives you, you feel connected. You feel very uh, loved by God and uh, change is imminent. Yes. Ma'am, on your side, can you please tell us the obstacles, challenges that you were coming across in your life that made you to come here? Um, I wanted men of God to bless us with a child. That's the only reason why I'm here. What is really happening to you um, that made you to want the man of God to bless you with a child? Nothing much. We recently got married in 2017, so we are trying to have a child. <laughs> Thank you. 
So, Sam, as you came with your wife and the man of God prayed for you and prophesied for all of you, how are you feeling? Um, I'm very happy because um, really uh, we got married in 2017 and we, ever since then, everyone knows that after getting married, you get to be expecting to be um, a family uh, of mother, father and children. So we were struggling on, in that area. We uh, visited the doctors, they uh, mentioned that they are fibroids but they don't seem to be giving maybe the reason why we are not conceiving. Uh, there were no challenges from their side but uh, we, keep, we kept on believing in God that uh, someday uh, something will come uh, in the form of a child. Yeah. And as you spoke to the man of God, I believe um, hope has been restored unto your family. How are you feeling? We are rejoicing. We are very happy and we believe that we shall give a testimony uh, in our family with our child in our hands. Amen. We give glory to Jesus for life. I believe that God is about to do greater things unto your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Yes. Charis Missionary Church. I am, my name is Dine Ogedite. I came here brought by a friend. I was invited by a friend mm -hmm. to come here because I've been having a problem of uh, different sicknesses mm -hmm. throughout this year. And the final blow was when the doctors told me that they can't see what's going on. Yeah. But even though I was feeling very sick. Mm. And when we came here, we saw the man of God. Mm -hmm. He told me that uh, straight up that I have, I have a problem with my heart. Mm -hmm. And I remember the last doctor that I had to see was a heart doctor because my heart was not, was not I felt it wasn't normal. It wasn't beating normal or operating in a normal way. Mm -hmm. And he told me that it's, there are spiritual attacks, mm -hmm. that uh, mm -hmm. the intention is just to make my heart to stop at any time. And it can happen that if I fall or if I faint, mm -hmm. it will be the end of it. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I trust God for my healing because mm -hmm. when I came here, I came here with... Uh, they believe that God will deliver me from whatever is going on because I've been suffering for a very long time. The whole of this year, I haven't had peace at all because of my on and off sicknesses. And by the grace of God, they spoke to you. Let's speak about you going to doctors in and out. How has it affect you, affecting you spiritually, physically? Um, physically, I was weak. Even when I came here, I felt weak, I've been feeling weak mm -hmm. and I've been starting to get worried because I couldn't get the help that I expected maybe to get from doctors mm -hmm. and the man of God also told me that it's just spiritual attack seeking to even to, to affect me financially because I've been look, using a lot of money to pay my medical bills yeah. and now that I, be, I, I believe God or I believed God when I came here for the deliverance I just decided to come or to honor my friends invite to come here Amen. and you got the opportunity for meeting the men of God on one on one session and I believe he told you the root cause of your problem confirm the prophecy that he gave to you and also tell us a little bit of things that he said to you actually yeah I do confirm <laughs> the, the prophecy because mm -hmm. even before I said anything mm -hmm. He told me that you have a problem of sickness. I see a problem of sickness. And the sickness is going to, the, the intention is for it to kill you because at one point you would faint and that will be the end of it. So I remember that I've had many episodes of me nearing passing out uh, from time to time. At one point I couldn't breathe normally. At one point, I would feel that my heart is stopping. So he just told me that these are just spiritual attacks. Mm. So what is needed is just to seek God's intervention and for me to be delivered from the spiritual attacks, for me to be okay.
As I believe that God has done it for you today, words of encouragement that you can give to the viewers out there? Oh, the only thing that I can say is people should never give up. Mm -hmm. um, even if we go to see doctors and they say they can't find anything or they can't help us, we shouldn't blame them or anything or be angry with them. Mm -hmm. Because actually if they say they can't see anything, it means there's something behind that's causing you to be sick or to fall ill. So everybody needs to trust God for their deliverance and healing because he's the ultimate healer. We give glory to Jesus for life. We believe that as he said unto his dead, but his word that by his stripes we are healed. I believe that today you have received your healing, your deliverance, and you're coming back with a testimony that will shock all your enemies in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Thank you.